people. Vaibhav Sangvi is CEO at ASK Hedge Solutions. He's with us. Vaibhav, uh, good to have you with us here. Good afternoon. Thanks for your time. Uh, you know, again, uh, market's doing well, but, you know, it's more measured, right? Uh, it's not uh, a race straight to the top. Uh, more measured. I mean, the U.S. is, I think, in, in uh, it's a bit of a bigger swoon, uh, but it's also recovered very fast. The S&P sits just 2% away from its highs. What's your sense, uh, Webov? Are we looking at a bit of an uptrend here, Bu building an uptrend here over the next uh, few weeks? No, Steve Prashant, I think uh, this week uh, there are important events, including the Jackson Hole. Uh, let's see what come out of, comes out of that. However, if you also see that the global volatility levels, you know, after the recent spike which had happened has kind of cooled off, along with your domestic volatility levels as well. So what effectively happens is basically that money gets kind of start, starts getting deployed again. Uh, and you will see some, and or probably this is some amount of reflection of the confidence in terms of the data which is kind of expected going forward. So we do think that uh, you know uh, you know the, the chances are there that we may see uh, possibly uh, a shorter term upswing uh, because of the cool off in terms of the volatility levels. Having said that, uh, you know of course valuation is something which uh, everybody is looking on to, uh, so that it, it's going to be a little range bound, uh, you know, with kind of market giving opportunities on a bottom up basis rather than a broad spectrum kind of. Uh, bullishness as we see. Mm. Uh, the market is also latching on to themes. So Nimesh was telling us how recycling, electrification, um, you know, or even these entire you know cooling segments, Voltas, Blue Star. These are stocks which have been gaining a lot of traction. Can you highlight a few themes for us which you like? No, of course. I think uh, the way the market is structured, we do think that uh, consumers, including both consumer discretionary and staples are something which are likely to do better going forward. Uh, of course, rural uh, uh, rural side of the economy is uh, likely reviving. Uh, and last but not least is basically the monsoons have been pretty favorable. So consumers on an overall uh, sector is something which we like. In addition to uh, other non-consensus non kind of sector is basically the IT. So IT consumers, uh, pharma from a bottom-up perspective, are the sectors which uh, you know we would be looking to kind of uh, invest in. And if you see the nature of these sectors are largely defensives, uh, you know, and that is how we are looking at the market currently as well. Okay, got that. Uh, Webhav, uh, hi, good afternoon, good to have you on. The big debate has been about what's happening in the auto space, right? with uh, Ola really hogging the limelight. I mean, it's been an absolute stunner since the listing day, almost doubling, right? And one is wondering what kind of disruption we are in for. And, and these stocks have been, um, the likes of Bajaj Auto, they've had a great run in the last one year. Uh, there's also the rural uh, recovery play, which uh, some are sort of, uh, you know, talking about with respect to the likes of Hero Moto. But given uh, what we are seeing, and then let, let's not forget the four-wheeler space, Tata Motors is going to go through a demerger. So there's a lot going on. What is your overall stance on auto? What are you liking, keeping, avoiding uh, in this uh, large side of the market? No, of course, Subhi, I think uh, autos uh, looking at a lot of action within the sector, uh, partly also, you know, kind of euphoric valuations in some of the segments. But uh, when we look at two wheelers, when we look at rural recovery, you will continue to see some amount of good numbers coming on from there. Uh, in passenger vehicles, uh, though the underlying details uh, have not been very exciting. Uh, we'll wait for that to kind of recover. But uh, in, in the advent that when the monsoons are pretty uh, uh, neat, I think uh, we may see some amount of revival also happening into tractor segment. Of course, CV, uh, CV also have been continuing uh, giving the kind of robust volumes on a month-on-month -month basis. Uh, but it's like, I mean, in some ways it is kind of diverse where PV is not performing, but the rest of the segments are performing. And lastly, that the commodity price is in fact uh, you know, which had happened in the last quarter, whether it is continuing going forward as well or not, is something yet to be seen. So uh, mixed trends uh, with uh, certain pockets kind of giving you the opportunity to kind of probably trade in in this. What about banks? Where do they stand in your portfolio? Because they've been testing everyone's patience. You find value in it, but, uh, you know, it's just not rewarding investors so far. 
No, we've been actually, you know, uh, consistent with our view, saying that banks we are kind of neutralist to probably slightly negative as well. Uh, the reason is that you know here is a situation where we've seen best of interest margins, you know, best of credit growth and best of credit uh, asset quality cycle as well. Incrementally, what we may see is basically one pressure on growth or margins purely because you have to have uh, you know higher cost deposits. And lastly, that from a personal loan segment in, in cert certain pockets, including your credit cards, uh, we are seeing in MFIs, we are seeing some amount of pressure on the asset quality as well. So going forward, probably, you know, within a year, we may see earnings kind of, uh, earning estimates kind of getting downgraded in this whole segment. Of course, the valuations have been reasonable, uh, but I think that may stay reasonable, um, you know, in absence of, strong FPI buying coming on to the Indian markets. However, if FPI market, I mean, if FPI kind of investor interest comes back, then you may see some amount of traction, but otherwise I think we should be uh, neutral at, at best, you know, in this sector. Mm. Let's put up metal stocks. I mean, the Stock. Nifty Metal Index is uh, spiking as we speak, and uh, I think it's up uh, about 1.8%. Uh, and uh, let's just have these names, uh, Tata Steel and JSW Steel from the steel space, but uh, Vedanta, of course, I mean, there's, uh, you know, a, a stock specific, a company specific reason as well, the stake sale in Hindustan Zinc and deleveraging, etc. That's another story. Let's look at Hindalco uh, and a, a few others as well. Uh, Tara, I think, was up three. Vedanta is up almost three. Uh, and uh, there are, uh, Hindalco is up about uh, almost 4% now uh, at uh, this point in time. Uh, Weber, any, any thoughts here? I mean, it's a global-facing sector. And I was reading this comment from uh, the, the Chinese steel major, Bao Steel, warning of uh, severe stress uh, for the steel industry, at least. And, and uh, they produce about 7%, 7-8% 7 of uh, world, uh, you know, global steel. Uh, now, that's, of course, comment coming from Chinese steel maker. I don't know what the dynamics here are and, and what impact that, that could have. But stocks are doing well today. Any thoughts, Weber, on the space? You know, I will not go by the temporary kind of uh, momentum on the metal space, base, especially the base metal. Uh, my sense is basically when in a, in, in a scenario when from a global perspective, uh, we're not looking at good growth in terms of the economic numbers, and especially from China where, you know, which kind of leads the whole metal pricing. Uh, my sense is basically you may have a tactical trade error there, but from a medium to medium term basis at least, uh, we would not be keen, uh, you know, getting into this space. Uh, unless and until, I mean, you can see stupendous growth coming back, uh, which is unlikely to see. My sense is this sector will continue to remain under pressure. So at every kind of, uh, you know, rise, uh, I think you will see continued pressure coming on to this names. All right. Uh, you know, we leave it there. Uh, thank you very much, Weber, for joining us and uh, running us through uh, that perspective, uh, point taken, bit of a tactical move here, according to Weber, as far as steel and metals are concerned. We'll take a break. We are back.